The sonic is one of the fundamental tricks of pen spinning. It involves three fingers spinning between two and behind one and completes one revolution. And it looks like this. To begin, locate your pen or pencil's center of balance. And then take your center of balance, place it between the middle finger and the ring finger, like this, at an angle. Then, take one of the inner ends, the inner end, place it on top of the thumb flap like so. This is your starting position. Once you have the start position ready, you will begin to learn the pressure method. The pressure method begins by t first taking your middle finger, pushing down and inward onto the pencil or pen, while keeping the ring finger stationary. While you're doing this, this will create a sl slight feeling of pressure onto the thumb flat right here. Once you have enough pressure built, and it should not be enough a lot of pressure, just enough to make the pen or pencil go, release by moving the thumb flap away. As soon as you do this, straighten your index finger and your ring finger and bring them close together. At the same exact time, you bring your middle finger in as such. After you release, the outer part will go behind the index finger. While keeping the index finger and the ring finger close together, you will create what is called the wall. The wall is basically between is basically the index finger and the ring finger. And then you have an obstacle which is the middle finger. After releasing and creating the wall, the inner part of the pencil or pen will rotate around the obstacle. Once it has finished passing over, unbend the middle finger back to its reg original position and catch between the index finger, the middle finger, and the thumb flap. To recap, let's begin with the start position. Hold it between the middle finger and the ring finger and the thumb flap. First create the pressure, then let go. As soon as you let go, bring the index finger and the ring finger together. The outer part will go behind. The inner part will rotate in a circle around the middle finger. The middle finger will be bent inward. Once it finishes, unbend it, relax, and it will fall back into the thumb flap and it will rest between the index finger and the middle finger. Remember, an important part of this trick to make it work is at, right after releasing the pressure and bringing one, the index finger and the ring finger together, the outer side of the pencil or pen must stay on the outside behind the index finger. Otherwise, it will fall out as such. Once you have practiced enough, you should learn the non-pressure method. Essentially, it is placing the pen or pencil between the middle finger and the ring finger and not into the mid thumb flap and pulling the pen or pencil into a circular motion to create the sonic.